Hello and welcome to the results video for the SACC EPA John Dohoney Memorial Landscape Photography Competition. Um, I'd just like to say a couple of thanks. I'd like to thank everybody who entered the competition. Despite the difficult year and the difficult circumstances with lockdown and restrictions, it was great to see all of the entries that we've got in. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, David Noten, who uh, took a great responsibility in handling the uh, competition. Um, I suppose really it's not so much a competition as a celebration of photography from the region. And as such, we don't uh, score off all of the images, but David goes through them all and uh, eventually whittles them down to a um, one, two, three in both the advanced and the non-advanced. Um, and uh, I'd like just to express uh, our gratitude for the, the work that he did. Um, I'd like to thank um, Brian and uh, Peter at the uh, Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, the EPA came on board this year as sponsors for the competition, which has given it a, a fantastic credibility and I think a unique fit for um, an organisation like the EPA and the SACC um, and our dear love for the Irish landscape. Uh, I would like to thank um, Gerald Halloran, uh, Henry O'Brien and Ty Hurley uh, on the SACC committee. Um, uh, they do Trojan work in getting um, us to this point. Uh, so thanks a million, guys. Uh, the video will now run through all of the images and then we will have the uh, recognition for uh, first, second and third in the non-advanced section and first, second and third in the advanced section and then the announcement for the overall winner. Um, and then there will be a um, short piece from um, Peter in the EPA and then a piece by uh, David Norton, the judge for the competition. So once again, I just like to reiterate my thanks to everybody who entered. Um, as, I, as I say, it's uh, really not so much a competition as a celebration, a celebration of uh, John and John's work, but also uh, of the photography um, in the Irish landscape. Uh, I'd like to thank the committee, the judge and the EPA. I uh, hope you enjoy the video.
Hi everyone, um, my name is Peter Cunningham. I'm with the Environmental Protection Agency and uh, we're delighted to be associated with the SACC and EPA uh, John Doherty Memorial Competition uh, 2021. John was um, a very uh, well respected and much loved colleague of ours for some 40 years or so. Um, we miss him terribly after his very sad loss. And obviously, we think uh, we think all the time about his wife Geraldine and and um, his, his his sons and his grandchildren, all of whom John loved. Um, John's um, skills with the as as a member of the Environmental Protection Agency were matched in our appreciation by his skills with his camera. He was outside. Um, for most of his career, taking fabulous photographs that we use in all kinds of ways, our annual reports and so on. Um, and uh, John's uh, love for the environment really drove him in, in all kinds of ways. And this competition, based as it is out in nature, we think it's a fabulous uh, tribute to John. And we're, we're delighted to hear of, of all the photographers um, in the Southern area getting out into nature, capturing the best of the Irish environment, um, which we're all so proud of. So as I said, we're delighted to be associated with, with, with the competition. Uh, and we're very grateful to Mark and his colleagues in the SACC for putting it together. So good afternoon, all of, from the uh, Southern Association of Camera Clubs. Uh, and it's been my pleasure again to uh, be the judge of the John Donny, excuse my pronunciation, uh, competition and uh, excuse me if I keep looking to the right I've got some of the pictures from the competition here on my second screen and I'm just going to talk about a few of the images and give you a few of my overall impressions. It's been a real pleasure again to judge this competition for two reasons. We've all been through such a tough tough year haven't we uh, on both sides of the Irish Sea and what with the lockdown and all the despondency around, uh, and given the circumstances, I think you've all done wonderfully to get out and create some of these wonderful images. I think in tough times like uh, we've been going through, photography has a real function uh, in terms of, uh, well, mental health, really. But enough about that, uh, uh, it's another, pleasure for me is just looking at beautiful pictures of Ireland. Um, as you know, I'm a lover of Ireland, have been over many, many times photographing and uh, looking at these uh, pictures just wants me to uh, come again. I, uh, now that we can, of course, travel, I'll be over your way very soon. Uh, so judging the competition was difficult given the standard uh, and deciding on which were the winners was tricky. What happens whenever I judge competitions is that there are certain images that immediately jump out. And what judges of all competitions are really looking for is an imaginative and perceptive photographic vision. And I think that's what jumped out at me when I saw the, the winning picture and it is, uh, so I just, I think it's called Embrace. It's image number 71. Uh, and it's of a couple on a beach there. And I think it's a picture that uh, just says so much, really. Um, I've made a few, com I've sent a few comments about this picture, but it, it uh, succeeds in so many different ways. The color palette, the simplicity of the composition, the poignancy, really, of the image is what uh, immediately, when I scrolled through the images first, when Mark sent me the complete selection, that image jumped out to me, out at me, and I think it's a really worthy winner. Just uh, selecting a few images here at random, excuse me, to talk about, I'm looking at uh, image number 11. It's just called Misty Morning, and I'm looking down on a mountain, lands mountain landscape with swaths of mist draped over the landscape. It's just a beautiful image, just want, makes me want to be there. I love the lighting, that lovely side lighting on the landscape, the shadow, the 
the warmth of the lighting, it's a, it, it really is a, a lovely image. The same with image number um, uh, 14, it's called Sunset Moon. Uh, and I think this picture says, is uh, really interesting in that the, the moon is tiny in the frame and yet, and yet it is key to the success of the picture. Lovely light on that image as well. We see a lot of images of slow exposures of rocks in the sea. Uh, it, these are fun pictures to do, but there are so many images done that, that for an image to stand out in that genre, it really needs to be special, and that image is. Um, there's a picture here now I'm looking at. It's called uh, Walkers, and it's uh, number 21. It's a lovely, moody, black and white image of uh, a beach. For me, that just says the west coast of Ireland. Might be the south, south coast of Ireland for all I know, but the uh, it's just such a, a moody picture. And it also, it just really says uh, walking... On, a, on the coast in the winter. Again, a, a very, very evocative picture and just made really by the drama and the texture in the sky. Uh, I've got another picture I'm just gonna mention here and it's called uh, MV Alta uh, and it's uh, number 50 and it's of a ship which looks like it's come to a sticky end, stuck on the rocks there. Uh, with a slow exposure on the on the water, very moody black and white image, lovely strong compositional lines. You know, uh, photography is of course the art of knowing what to leave out of the frame, and I think that's a really good example of a simple bold composition and and an interesting topic. Um, the image. Uh, I, that another image that uh, jumped out at me was uh, number 56 of Gugan Barra, Gugon Barra. And uh, now I've seen a lot of pictures in the competition of this location. It's obviously a famous location in your part of the world. And a lot of you have, have been there and submitted pictures of it. The light on that particular one is just gorgeous. And when we're photographing it, images of well-known locations. The challenge for us photographers is to come up with something special, something unique, something different. Uh, and it's tempting to think that with a well-known location, there are no th new things you can do. But I believe even with the most photographed locations in the world, so for example, the Eiffel Tower, uh, there is still, with imagination and perceptive, uh, imagination and perceptive vision, there's still new images that we photographers can come up with. Uh, and now another famous location, in fact, one I photographed myself, uh, and it's number 101, 101 Pine Island. I believe that's uh, Connemara. Uh, and I photographed that, gosh, 25 years ago. But uh, I think this is a really moody picture. I love the simplicity of the composition. Uh, I like that sky, slow exposure on the sky there. Again, a very, very evocative image. And finally, if I just mention image number 121, City Rower, uh, with a, a canoeist paddling through uh, uh, on the river through Cork there. Lovely composition, a lovely simple picture, wonderful light. Beautifully timed image, well captured. Again, no complications, no distractions within the frame. So my apologies if I haven't mentioned your picture in that little uh, selection that I've uh, talked about here. All I would say to all of you is just keep on exposing, enjoy your photography, follow your instincts, get out there and just uh, keep on developing your photographic vision and uh, and uh, thank you again for letting me judge your competition well done and uh, i'll hope to do so again next year